decent option. I mean, Witch Doctor is amazing with Medusa old and Faces White old, of course. Like, when Medusa stones somebody and you have a Witch Doctor old hitting him, he actually just melts, like, right away. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. really powerful. <laughs> Looking good, Witch Doctor. Yeah, we have. We don't usually get to see all the AR effects. We're like have our back facing toward it, but he's looking like he's having a good time oh, as that fifth turn. pick. Yeah, I was hoping that they would go for Caudal actually, but the Witch Doctor uh, works really well as well. I think just that re uh, recall would help Medusa split push a little bit more since you have a very slow hero in Medusa. Ooh, last grab is the PL here for TNC, and was to get rid of this Ops, which was inside of his own jungle. But he was making the move because both Sam and EU started harassing into the lane. So you ask the question, like, how do you deal with the two ranged lane from OG on the safe? The simple thing was just run at them. Quick battle hunger, extra movement speed, and just look for a couple of lucky spins. On the Elder Titan, okay, that's an early Maledict point. You do have the car still available, as Elder Titan will run up a little bit further. Fly stays on his back. There goes your cask, Elder Titan. He's oh. still a very tanky <laughs> hero, but the bounce back over. He'll drop down low, but the Malediction was not enough. <laughs> Okay, he got like, he didn't miss up Wait, 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 fly! He's not done! He is not done! He was coming over to the camp, he may just be here for a denial, but then E.T. lets the spirit fly over! Oh. He gets the kill with just the spirit! Oh no! All he wanted to do was farm and what? deny himself up to get back to base more efficiently in the E.T. That camp, just to make sure that his movements are really inefficient. He's only level 2 at the moment. A top lane, Moon already using time walk, very low on life. The magic missile will connect, and TNC they're looking to claim and yet another kill. First one from ET, the second one goes the way of the life stealer. Elder Titan not in the greatest position. There's a lot of shard golems here for crit to get a continuous chain stun onto the Elder Titan. He just wants to stomp up, but it's not possible. The control is too much, and Medusa finds his own kill as well. Miracle bottom lane. Yeah. Paralyzing cast tries to keep Sam away from flying. The stomp's gonna come in. That'll stop the Witch Doctor. There's no TP support coming down right now. It's just a straight trade-off. You lose your Witch Doctor for your tier one tower on top. Right now, and they have a lot of trouble keeping their observer wards down on the map. The one that Demon just placed mid got dewarded. The one on bottom is Demon because dead, actually left. Moon is gonna commit to top lane, commit the Chronosphere onto that Vengeful Spirit. So an easy solo kill for him. Moon will take it while the T1 tower will drop. And the prediction. Uh, and they just smoked underneath the Radiant Observer orders. Well, this is not the dream for TNC. So OG can move into a good prepared position. They still have their own Obs ward. What they won't realize is their dire Observer ward. Actually, they may. They don't Realize even have the life stealer there. here. Fly, this could be really bad. Fly is very visible. They're being surrounded. Medusa already TPing out. So it looks like once again, Fly will be the punching bag. And he's already got two deaths to his name. He'll make it three. The stomp will arrive. And that's TNC yet again finding another kill, but they're losing out on the map. Yeah, they, I don't know. It's more to the trade off of sending the axe to the lane at the start. Oh, it's bottom lane. Jungling. Goodbye, Demon. Just behind that tier 2 tower, maybe it's not enough. Moon thought he had it, and now he's in way too deep. TNC, they wait for the call. Remember, they've still got a culling blade. This will guarantee the kill before the time walk up, but he goes into the tree lines. The stomp, perfectly red from the ET. Moon thought he had to get out of jail. Free car, but there's your culling blade. There's still three players killing off an over-aggressive faceless void under a tier 3 tower. The live stealing gets a solo kill on the Witch Doctor up on the top lane. I'll already not be ready to fight. Either you dodge or you amplify your own damage during it. Yeah, I think it depends on like how the first X blink call goes. If you lose that fight, then I think you just have to split push. Top lane, nice little trap being sent by Raven. He wants a loop in the back of Notel. An easy open wounds and rage up. And this Drone Ranger won't really stand a chance. He's also got infest damage. If he can't get Notel straight away, the gust will come, but the rage was protecting him. And that's a big kill, Life Stealer. He's now got four out of the seven kills of TNC. Already claimed this high ground, but they're not five strong at the but moment. But look at the line TNC is drawing. They want to go all the way down through the river and then back up behind him where TNC will not be expecting it. But then Dyer, they use the scan. They don't see anyone behind OG. And with the scan, with the process of elimination, they have to be. They send the, the PL. Shop. They send the PL in through the front, trying to bait the movement forward. No tell. It's going to be the primary objective. There's your jump in already with a follow up. Stuns the spirit for the stomp. PL will find the kill. Stone Gaze to turn off with Medusa with Moon's control and that dead one. It reaches up to the Phantom Lantern. He's got Doppelganger. This will buy a little bit of time to back out to the tier 2 tower while Raven hunting the supports on the back line. He finds Fly raging up. He'll find that kill on the Witch Doctor with the spirit down as well. Raven may just have enough space with a follow up. 
follow up stomp to find a different target, but who does he want? You can ask Culling Blade behind the lines, so there's even more heroes going down for OG. Miracle starts his TP out, there's no more stuns, but you do have that blink plus call up right now for the axe. He blinks into the pit, same with a stomp, but they predicted wrong. Noon will take the bounty rune and escape back to the mid lane. Uh, first smoke, so he has committed oh, that's to That's a good ward from Demon. They actually see Crit just swap him straight back in again. It's the old classic Tinker Ward on the hillside. <laughs> and it gives Demon the way to get through the trees and find initiation outside the trees. You can't hide. Coming. So they've moved up into the Radiant Jungle, and in fact, they're moving over. You can four man smoke as OG, but it's going to be the bottom lane where No Tail gets jumped up, called up, split it in half, and then Culling Blade down. But no, the gust, it pushes him back. Where's the stun? Where's the damage? No Tail barely going to take a fall. OG smoke didn't wrap around TNC in time. They didn't find that small little float. Wow, look at this courier micro too coming out from TNC. They know that, okay, they're going to use this time to try and set up around the Roshan pit, and they have a sentry already there. They move uh, the couriers to the high ground. Straight up chrono coming from Moon with a death ward. They'll have more than enough damage to burn through the ET. Demon was making his way over, but couldn't get in range for a, for a swap. Fighting a lot. Up seven kills on OG, and again, the contest for Rosh. They're wrapping around. OG come down to Roshan. Moon's probably going to be the easiest target to start on. How do TNC want to accept the upper, I upper hand position? They just keep doing it every time. The Lance flies down. The jump from Max. They missed the timing. The stomp as well. The Stone Gaze turns on from Miracle Split. And this finds it two different parts. Raven's the main one. They have to try and save him. The Axe is ready to go back in again for another call. Raven needs to toggle his way through. He just can't do it. The damage is too much. The Death Ward from Fly keeping TNC out of the choke point of the stairs. And this will allow OG to move over Roshan. It slows everything down. Moon jumps up. He doesn't want to try and battle this inside the pit. The PL illusions now, actually not with the defusal play. The, the courier is still dead, so he can't fly the defusal out. But it looks like Cuckoo wants to doppelganger himself in. It doesn't happen. Moon gets caught. He actually time walks out in time, so he's repaired the damage. They can't call him, him straight back down again. Cuckoo, where is your damage? The chrono! Moon hits three. Time walks out again, repairing the damage done by TNC. And they lose the axe. With a fresh egg of Seymour on OG, they can just keep pushing. They have good vision inside the pit. They have to use a spear to stomp on him. Axe can't blink inside the pit to go for the Roshan steal or to delay the Rosh even further. I, he was probably the one that killed the chicken. He seemed to be the one that was in a position to. Slowing down the Diffusal Blade. Like, Diffusal Blade is a very big deal versus the Medusa, especially when you don't have enough damage to kill those illusions really quickly. They just need it up, they'll have it in a second. 14 seconds till the courier is back up. Raven goes back into his farming. He's still the number one net worth on the field, but right behind him is Miracle. Doesn't take Jimmy that much to do? the farm. What is Jimmy doing? What is Jimmy ever doing? I don't know. Uh, he is currently playing do -si do with the T1 tower. <laughs> just a lap around the, the T1 <laughs> for good measure. Hey, Jimmy is the kind of guy, he'll do laps. Why? Just why? <laughs> Just Jimmy attack. thinks. He's got 17 one charges. Looks like he's TPing back to base. Maybe he wants them to think that he plays a miserable ward behind the tower. That's the most logical hey, they're, thing. They're, 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 they're placing sentries. Yep, they are going to. It's, it at least got their attention. Okay, he, he ran around a T1 to make sure. They, they make burned sure. two sentries. They burned two sentries for this. Yeah. <laughs> These guys have won a major. They're definitely going to notice a ventral spear like hasting by, but it's like, oh, yeah, maybe they didn't see me. I'm going to flash myself and stay around here for five seconds. Uh, Between the tier two and tier three tower, the Elder Titan will break that smoke if they do it, however. With a fresh Observer Ward, the spirit comes out, so there goes Moon. He uh, has his smoke broke, but he's on the other side of the tree line! PL Kuku actually walked back into the Chronosphere! He wasn't inside it originally, and with Doppelganger already on cooldown, they have to split this fight up. You'll have to stop it by time! Elder Titan just wants to TP away right under Moon's sleeping nose! You lost the axe, but it was a sacrifice that Sam had to make. It kept the rest of OG out of the TNC lineup. That's the way something could go right for him. We've got an Invis Cuckoo. Picked up an Invis rune, then got a Lime Stealer infested inside of him. Just hoping for one easy pick. He'll walk into the middle of OG. OG, no detection. They just instantly jump on Fly. They won't find that kill, but they do move up to crit. Stone Gaze triggered by a miracle. And now in they come. The Chronosphere on the back lines, keeping the Elder Titan. Now, but Faces Void does have the damage, especially when you get the call. Moon may be in a lot of trouble here. Surrounded by four heroes. They get the stun back into the river. Cuckoo still keeps battling. He brought down 
fly. Oh dear, in trouble. Cuckoo can't doppelganger himself away from this one, but then Axe, a blink double call. They got extra health. The swap back. They want Nurtile. They want that Drone Ranger gone. Now they can deal with the impenetrable miracle. No stuns. The call too far away for the Axe. And there's four for a one trade off. You lose your PL, but that's a huge fight for TNC. Metal to get to the pit in time. 2k, almost 1k now. The spirit comes in. Look for the ET clap and stomp, but it doesn't have any real effect. The axe will jump in. They instantly explode. Moon moving to no tell. He'll get Hurricane piked out. He still has the Aegis Immortal. Miracle inside the pit with the Stone Gate. He's got more time to attack. PL can't do much when he gets gusted back for so long. Now Fly, he'll look towards Raven trying to get rid of that Death Ward. The spirit will help to do that. And he can just move on to the next target. Aegis Immortal has triggered. PL wants to keep fighting here as the fight still split up. They find the other Titan. It's no tell on the high ground, but Cuckoo right behind it. Nowhere to run. Too maneuverable. TNC, they've taken four. And once again, they look for Miracle. Where's the stuns? They don't exist. And rape around once again. They want to come from behind OG. OG are waiting for a trap. Like, this is uh, the high ground. They have, well, they have some rewards. Oh, Moon was just out of range of that scan. They have the orbs in the sentry, but no one's close enough to the mouth of the river to realize that TNC have come from behind. And no, it's not going to happen again. The Drow Ranger, the Observer will get planted down. They see no town moving. Demon with the wave of terror will reveal his position, but then just Hurricane Pike yourself away. And OG, they smoke up themselves. Turn, drum charge. They want to find the opening now. Double obs are down for, for uh, TNC. So with this axe in close, he'll break the smoke. A big call position, and he catches him. No tell and fly in the back lines. No tell, Hurricane Pike won't save a miracle. He trying to make the space here with the Chronosphere, as well as the Stone Gaze. You've at least locked in two, but the splitter on the back line and Life Stealer, they've done the work here, TNC. With Cuckoo, they can go down. They can bring down Miracle, burn off all the mana, and there's nothing left. No buyback as well for this material. Medusa. They'll rip through the tier 1 and tier 2 tower, maybe even more. Cuckoo goes straight to the TP to mid lane. He wants to get that tier 2 tower as well there. TNC in the space of one minute have removed four, five towers from the face of OG. They will back up tons of money flooding into TNC. That he might be doing the same thing. Go for a chrono and... That's why this marked up. Hello, Courier. You're walking around with me all in your recipe. That is meant to be built. In fact, if they wait this out, they might be able to get rid of the Hyperstone. Wait for it to turn around. Cuckoo's still pushing through the mid. They bring down the range racks. They're inside the base. Smoked up. No tell. Able to push himself away. So he will survive for now. Now the extra TP coming forward, it's going to be Miracle to the front lines. The full Mjolnir is completed over on him. So he puts on the double shielding, and then Moon jumps forward. He'll find Demon, the gem carrier of TNC. The Storm from Elder Titan won't create enough space. They're still back in the mid lane. Cuckoo keeps the pressure on, on that mid racks. 30 seconds to a minute. They're coming in. That, that Observer Jeez. Ward, it caught a glimpse of the ET. And Eu who just walks directly into the middle of OG. No way to survive that. The Axe can kill off the Faceless Void while all that's been going on. And that actually opens up the mid lane. In fact, TNC can attack into the racks. OG need to come back. The TPs are starting up now. The Drow Range is the first one. Axe is waiting for a good opportunity. The Rage from Lifesteal, the Blink. Again, no tell. So quick on the reflectors. Fortification keeps the racks up and crit to the front lines. He'll get the movement speed thanks to the battle hunger. So Sam is away. Even with the Yule Scepter, Miracle behind Axe. Axe into the tree line. One second till Blink's back off cooldown. Then he can just jump down and he will into the river. Four oh, Elder is going to join dead. him. The Observer Ward. Oh, Demon. He plans the Ob's Ward and then gets pushed back up the cliff while over on the other side of the river. Wish after dying so quickly in the Axe. He gets the call. Again, Drone Ranger in a bad position. Couldn't force up himself out far enough. And then Raven pops back out. He actually keeps Axe alive until Miracle with a split shot. How much of a tank is he? Not enough. The Diffuse are burning through all the mana shield and now TNC can safely take Roshan while OG and four heroes in the grave. Man, what a clutch ward. It like gets the vision on the back line so that Life Stealer and Axe can always do their thing. Lane, there is no draw range for 22 seconds. You get the buyback out from Medusa, but Cuckoo, he's still got Aegis the Immortal. Immediately ranked is the minimum TNC want from this push. A full butterfly even being completed up when this push happens for the PL. And you just make more Cuckoos. The Stomp. I hold Miracle at the back line, so say goodbye to your mid racks. Up to the top. And still TNC, are they happy with this? With Drow back up? Yeah, they are. They're playing this really safe.
looking at the life steal from the outside. That's how they need to start the fight, but look at the way they're sieging. It's just Cuckoo on front. Yep, and he's dodging everything. I mean, he's got Mander, he's got Doppelganger, so Crit can't even throw an Impetus out. No tell. Now actually hitting him quite nicely with that Hurricane Pike, but... Like, nice is nice, but it's not a kill, and Cuckoo just keeps the push going. Even if he dies multiple times, you basically got three PLs in this fight. He'll have him from his buyback and the Aegis, the Immortal, and the original. Miracle almost out of mana, and Cuckoo, he just takes the melee rags, there's no answer! OG has this TNC lineup, even crit missing attacks, thanks to Butterfly. I mean, OG needs something, Moon needs a good initiation area. They have to force half the Drone Ranger back into the well, just to get away from one Phantom Lance of this PL. And maybe with some Impetus, Crit can make Cuckoo dangerous, but then Crit, he actually turns! He needs to push himself away, and the Illusions will chase him down! They cleared through enough of them! And there's the four star from Sam getting him out. You see where Moon starts to prepare. Time walks into the tree line. He needs to make the danger zone work for OG. You almost need to catch out TNC in that wonderful box to the east. But when PL just throws Lances forward, Nortel again forced away from the racks. The call from TNC has to be watch out for the Void though. They don't have any eyes on the Void. He could be smoke behind. He could be on the south side. He could be like on the top side. They don't actually know where he is. So they need to use like the Phantom Lancer illusions, the Elder Titan Spirit to kind of find out where he is while constantly putting out pressure with Cuckoo. And 20 seconds left on ages, looks like TNC, they're happy with their spoils. Here we got half on the range rack, just rinse and repeat. Uh, and Nortel having to gust on just illusions to push him back. And, well, Medusa turns on the stone gaze. Cuckoo is in fairly deep, just trying to focus on these supports. Moon gonna chrono on the front lines. He only finds the other Titan, the splinters, all the damage. This chrono does practically nothing. TNC have taken minimal damage. In fact, they've killed off Crit, they're looking for a dieback on him. The illusions just keep going to work. Cuckoo's created the space. The bottom racks will drop. You're death warning to kill off illusions. ET tanks it all. This should be the game right now. TNC, they are walked over. EG in game one, a methodical, Surgical killing of OG by TNC. The smiles on Demon, and rightly so. They played a superb game of Dota. Yeah, they don't need to worry about the Drow Ranger. They often didn't ban it out in the group stage, and they have a lot of strategies prepared against Drow.